I'm Matthew Fallon, President and CEO of the Great Lakes Bay Regional Alliance. When the lumber industry came to a close in the late 1800s, the sugar beet industry was born, bringing productivity back to the region, creating a switch from trees to beets. Today, Michigan Sugar Company and nearly 900 grower owners plant and harvest about 160,000 acres of sugar beets each year in and around the Great Lakes Bay region. Let's plow into some of these fields and talk firsthand with a few of these grower owners of Michigan Sugar during one of the most important stages of the sugar beet, harvest time. I've been a sugar beet farmer my entire life, but I've been financially at stake for about 20 years. Perfect harvest weather, uh, 40 degrees and sunny and dry. And what do we have right now? Uh, right now we've got about 65 degrees and sunny but muddy. Uh, usually we're, we're in the mud for two or three days after a rain event and just it makes, makes it difficult to get the trucks around the field, in and out, puts mud out on the road. Just We decide to harvest based on the temperature. Uh, you know, it's in the fall once we've got cool weather and we can store the sugar beet crop till it can be processed, that's when we decide to harvest. So it's really about root temperatures below 50 degrees. So a ton of beets, one ton of beets will have roughly 300 pounds of sugar in it. So a 20 ton cartload of beets, what would that be? 6,000 pounds of sugar. It's a bit of sugar, that's a lot of cookies. <laughs> uh, so a truckload, 40 ton of beets, at 300 pounds per ton, yeah, you're talking 12,000 pounds of white sugar. Yeah. We've been working hard as growers and as a sugar company collectively to march forward with efficiency productivity for forever. Um, but at Michigan Sugar, the growers, we work really hard on research to improve efficiency productivity, whether it's variety trials, fungicide trials, uh, you know, fertilizer efficacy. We're trying to do more with less every day, and I think that's really tells a story about sustainability in itself, doing more with less. Right. More yield per acre, more sugar per acre, so that we don't need as many acres to grow. Being a sugar beet grower is just a beautiful, special thing that we get to harvest something, grow something, care for it all season, harvest it. I'm integrated as an owner of Michigan Sugar. I can process it and then go to the store and see that sugar on the shelf. That's just... That's special. It's pretty, cool. it's pretty neat, yeah. These growers and others, under board of directors of Great Lakes Sugar Beet Growers Association, formed a grower owner cooperative and contracted to purchase Michigan Sugar Company from a bankruptcy in 2002, saving the sugar beet industry in the state of Michigan.